Hello Pisces, how are you guys doing? This is Heavenly Tarot. I'm doing a general read on you guys. It may resonate and it may not, okay? Pisces energy. Okay, if it doesn't resonate, maybe um, next time. If it does, I hope this can help you guys in the situation. Welcome to any new viewers that I have that stopped by. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm going to do a general read. I'm going to do a weekly read. And then I'm going to do an oracle love read uh, message. Okay, to see what messages love has for you. Okay. Holy Spirit, please show me Pisces energy. Oh, there you go, Pisces. That's it. I don't really get that many cards. I don't need that many cards for this one. I usually only try to take four cards. Okay, so we have the death card. We have the six of mirrors. We have the world card. We have the uh, page of scrolls, page of swords, the nine of scrolls, the justice card, and the hermit card. Okay, Pisces. Okay, so you can see them. All right, so the death card is transformation, new beginning. So, there's a transformation you're going through. Six of Mirrors. Memories. The world card. Cycles. A new beginning. Transformation as well. Page of scrolls. The pilgrim. Taking flight on a new beginning. Being bold enough to leave security behind. Being strong and bold enough to leave a very secure home. A place of stability behind to start a new beginning. To Into the unknown. For a transformation of a new you. The Nine of Scrolls, Loss, Despair, Exhaustion, The Justice Card, A Victory, Transformation, also, Abundance, accomplishments, the feathers of accomplishment, storyteller, the hermit card, solitude, to find that inner you. Using your intuition. To find that inner you going into hermit mode, thinking, making decisions. Strengthening that intuition. Okay, so the art and death card, endings but new beginnings, transformations. Holy Spirit, clarify the death card. Clarify the death card. She's using this yarn to help her lead the way. To guide her. Look at this yarn. She's threading this yarn. To help lead her to her new beginning. Or him. 
the illusionist, king of stones, king of pinnacles. Believing, trusting in yourself. That you will ascend into abundance. Or starting your new beginning. Illusionist, it's all about believing in yourself. Using your inner powers, inner strength to move forward. Using what's inside of you to bring about your abundance. The Holy Spirit clarifies the light of stone. Clarify the Knight of Stones. The Acrobat. Page of Pentacles. Taking that chance. On a new beginning of abundance. Six of mirrors. Memories. Stuck in the past. Thinking in your past. You're being asked to look back in your, your past. Use your intuition. Use memories from your past to help you move forward on this chance you're taking on your new beginning. Weigh your option. Is it worth it? This new beginning you're leaping into, is it worth it? Is it worth it stability wise? Security wise? Holy Spirit, clarify the six of mirrors. Clarify the six of mirrors and Pisces energy. <clears throat> there you go. Clarify the six of mirrors and Pisces energy, Holy Spirit. Ace of mirrors. Yes, go inside. Look into your past, the mirror memories to reflect on your feelings. How did you feel about that situation that you want to take a new beginning on? If it's a person, if it's a Scorpio, reflect on those inner feelings from your past on how it was with this person. How did you feel in the past when you were dealing with this person? How did this person make you feel in your past? Were you really truly happy with this person? Holy Spirit, clarify the Ace of Mirrors. Clarify the Ace of Mirrors. Too many cards. I'll do one more. Right. Clarify this Ace of Mirrors concerning the Clarify the Ace of Mirrors and Pisces energy. Reaping rewards. Once you reflect on those inner feelings, you will reap the reward. The rewards. Okay. Your rewards are coming in. Your rewards of abundance. You've worked hard for them. And you are protected. Nothing can take that away from you. Nothing can stop you from getting them. The tree, the fire is welcoming you into this tree of life. Life of abundance. So once you go inside your inner self and reflect on your feelings about 
this new beginning you want, then your abundance will come. Your true rewards will come. Just make sure you make the right decision. So nothing would destroy that abundance. Okay? Holy Spirit, clarify the three of stones. Clarify that three of stones. Thank you. Ooh, my cards are tearing up. These are... Clarify this three of stones. Yep. Your cycle is ending. Three of cards. Page of wands believe in you trust your intuition believe in you trust in your decision that you make for your new beginning the, the artist trust that you can bring out your inner abundance for growth. Five of five of mirrors. Forgive forgiveness. Forgive yourself. If you're holding any unforgiveness for anything that you've done in your life, forgive yourself. Take it to your higher power. Ask for forgiveness and then forgive yourself so you can move forward in this abundance and in this inner confidence of believing in yourself so you can have this new beginning. So your inner strength can build so you can bring out the abundance that will lead so you can bring out the abundance within yourself that gift that you have. So you could transform into who you were always meant to be. We all have an inner gift that can make us abundant. But we have to believe in ourselves. Okay, we have to believe that in ourselves. And we have to believe that that gift can make us abundant. We have to believe in our gift. We have to trust ourselves. The world card. Then your new beginning will, will begin. The world card. Transformation. Once you believe in yourself, that's the transformation that you're going through. A higher ascension you're going on. You will see doors open. If you believe in yourself, other people will see it too. Doors will start opening for you. To push you into your success, into your abundance. Holy Spirit, clarify the world card. Five of stones. Without transformation, there's misfortune. You have to ascend to get this abundance. You have to believe in yourself. If not, Misfortune will take place. You're going to miss out on your blessing. Holy Spirit, clarify the five of stones. The golden flower. Balance. Balance. All you have to do is look above. And you will see your abundance. If you're feeling like you're miss, missed out on something, that you're misfortunate financially, look above you. Your abundance is there. Believe in yourself. Believe that you have an inner gift that you can bring out that can make you abundant. To give you that stability, that balance that you need for growth. Look at that. It's all about transforming. Believing in yourself. Look at this. The pilgrim taking a chance. Leaving what 
where you were secure. You're leaving an area where you felt very secure. To a new beginning. That's transformation because you believed in yourself. So you did it. You transformed. You went into solitude. You used your intuition. Okay. You went into your feelings. You reflected on your feelings. You look back on memories. Okay. You asked your higher power. Was this right? Was this the right way to go? You allowed your intuition, your higher power to guide you to your abundance. To your growth. Look at this. Balance. Okay. Yes, you were here at regret. You may have been here at one time at regret. But balance and abundance came about. Why? Because you believed in your intuition. There you go. And you're walking away from something that was very, very, very secure for you. That gave you stability. Very good stability. Page of um, scrolls. You are trusting your inner self. That you can be abundant without that stability that you did have. So you're walking away. You're choosing to walk away to a new beginning. You're trusting your inner self. Wow. If that's not abundance, I don't know what it is. If that's not growth, I don't know what it is. We have to believe in ourselves to step away from things, persons. The visionary. Perseverance. Walking into balance. That's the Knight of Cups. Knight of Scrolls. Also confident. Balance, confidence, exhaustion, because you've worked so hard on yourself, on improving yourself so you can move forward in a success. Nine of, nine of scrolls, you did it, you made it, you made it. It was a struggle, but you made it. You deserve Everything that's coming in your future. You work hard for this exhaustion. You deserve it. You work hard for it. Nothing but blessings coming your way. Holy Spirit, clarify the Nine of Scrolls. Clarify this Nine of Scrolls. Eight of scrolls. Stepping into your intuition. Believing. That justice. Was near. Yep. You stepped out of illusions. And stepped into your intuition. You let go. You let yourself be guided. Right into justice. Look at these feathers. All your accomplishments are shown on your feathers. The flower of abundance. Fish of balance. Look at that. Wow. Transformation. You did it all. 
Victory. Justice is yours. Excuse me, guys. I got to straighten up my cards. Justice is yours. You did it, Pisces. You worked hard to get where you are now. Don't give up. Continue to believe in yourself. Victory is yours. Whatever you're working toward, it's yours. You have it. You've done it. Your rewards are coming in. Some of you guys, your rewards have already came in. Holy Spirit, clarify the justice card. In Pisces energy. The King of Mirrors. King of Cups. A cancer. Wise. You've been wise. That's how you got to where you are. You and using your wisdom. You took control of your inner self. You controlled the inner you. You changed. You transformed. Look at the butterfly. You took control of your life and transformed it. That's not easy to do. Six of scrolls. You balanced yourself out. You balanced yourself out. Harmony, peace. Love is coming your way. It's going to be given to you. You may have to travel towards it. This is some travel coming. Maybe coming. You may be traveling somewhere. But there's harmony. Balance. Peace. Walking into the door of peace. The hermit car. Solitude. Or this might be saying something might take place. Something might take place to um, cause you to feel misfortunate. And you may need to get your balance again. Okay. It may cause you to have to go into solitude to get have to get balance again. Okay, but hang in there, whatever it is, something might take place, six of cups, Holy Spirit, let me clarify this, clarify the six of scrolls, clarify the six of cups, okay, yeah, so just Keep doing what you're doing. You did your transformation. You controlled you. You got balance in your life. I'm going to say this is the car. It's showing that you got balance in your life. Because the car, the, the scrolls are evening out. And then you. The person. This person that's leaning on you. You may be traveling to this person. That's going to complete you. Complete. Yep. The six of scrolls. Okay. So this is your balance. This person. You're going to be traveling towards this person. Moving towards this person. To get your balance. In your life. 
this this person is going to keep you balanced that's what i'm seeing this is someone that helped keep you balanced you see this person is helping you keep balance you see this person at keeping abundance in your life or helping you with your abundance four of stones this person You guys are going to have, yeah, possessions. You guys are going to have abundance, material abundance as well. Whoever this person is that you're going towards, you see them as being materialistically abundant and having an abundance of life, period. You see this person. You're told to go into solitude. Use your intuition. Okay. Concerning this person. Trust your steps. Go into, go into solitude. Use your intuition. Open your eyes. Okay. And trust in your steps. Trust. And stepping forward with this person. Okay. Your intuition has showed you whether you're going the right way. at Moving towards this person. Getting this balance with this person. Three of mirrors. You're reuniting. Yep. Use your intuition. Okay. Seven of wands. So you won't have any um, regrets. Okay. Use your intuition so you won't have any regrets when it comes to this person. You're... Going to travel to see this person that you see is balancing your life out. Okay. Okay. So that's the end of that. I'm, it was long. 27 minutes. Okay. Wow. All right. So now we're going to do your. Weekly read. Let me hurry up. It's already on 30 minutes. I don't want this to go too long. Okay. Holy Spirit. Show me Pisces weekly energy. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Guide me as I do this reading. Show me Pisces weekly energy, Holy Spirit, on the cards. Thank you. Show me Pisces weekly energy. Thank you. Oh, that's too many cards. Ah. That card drop. Show me Pisces weekly energy. Show me Pisces weekly energy, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, this card. That's so. Oh. Okay. Okay, so the death card and the high priestess. So, uh, da, 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 da. Pisces, you're being told to use your intuition concerning a Scorpio or a new beginning, an ending that you're going through to a new beginning. You're told to use your intuition. Holy Spirit, clarify the death card. Okay, so this this new beginning that you're taking it has you worrying. You're up worrying about this new beginning that you're you're embarking on, and maybe with the Scorpio. Okay, the hermit mode. You're being told to go on hermit mode and use your intuition concerning this this move. Holy Spirit, clarify the high priestess. Okay, this is with somebody that inwardly satisfies you. Okay, you're thinking of marrying this person. Hair font card. 
Okay, you're just being told to use your intuition, okay? So you know that you're making the right move. Okay, yeah, you're ready to offer this person a cup of a new beginning and growth. Okay, you're ready to move on to better waters with this person, Pisces. Seven of Pentacles, you've been contemplating on which way to go and grow. Okay, and you chose. All right, somebody's going to be heartbroken because you chose. Holy Spirit, clarify. Okay, it might be an Aries, an emperor person. Okay, it's going to be disappointed in who you chose. They're going to be very disappointed. Okay, eight of swords. Okay, you're feeling stuck, trapped. You might be confused or you might have been confused on your decision. Holy Spirit, clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords in Pisces energy. Clarify this Eight of Swords in Pisces energy. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you were confused. So, it had you planning, strategizing on who to choose. Okay? But you chose somebody that you felt was your soulmate. To start this new beginning with. Holy Spirit, clarify the lover's card. It took you a while to choose this. Not the pinnacles. Not the pinnacles don't move fast. But you chose. Okay? And you came in and you're ready to announce who you chose. Okay? It may yeah, you're ready to announce who you chose. And it may be it's a Sag Leo or Aries. Maybe. But science doesn't matter. Yeah, you want a victory with this person that you chose. It's a Scorpio. Queen of Cups. It's a Scorpio you chose. You're moving to be with this person. You may be in a different vicinity than this person, Pisces. You're moving towards them so you could start a new beginning. In growth with this person. Star card. You want a success when it comes to um, the Scorpio. Temperance card. You want balance when it comes to the Scorpio. You ready to have a family with the Scorpio. Okay. Or you may have a family with the Scorpio. Yep. Okay. So. Yeah, there's going to be some open communication. That's the Aquarius card, okay? There's going to be some open communication, all right? There's some addictions that need to be taken care of. Somebody has some addictions. Either you, Pisces, that you need to handle or um, this person that you're having this new beginning with. They have some type of addiction, okay? So you need to um, be aware of that. And they need to heal that addiction. All right. It's a cancer card. King of Cups. You're ready to offer your cup of emotion. And it's showing it's going to be a victory when you offer your cup of emotions. And this is somebody. You think about this, this Scorpio all the time. So it's showing you it's going to be a victory when you offer your cup of emotions. Okay. To this person. So God bless you. Good luck. On your new journey of love. Alright. Okay. So I'm going to do. Um, a love oracle. Message. See what messages Holy Spirit has for you guys. Holy Spirit. Show us a message. Show us love messages. That you have for Pisces. Concerning love. Show us love messages that you have for Pisces concerning love. Okay, there we go. So Pisces, what we have for you. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. Just for a new beginning. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You hear that Pisces? 
That intuition, you instinctively know. So you've been using that intuition. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this. And they will manifest physically. Yes. Yes, indeed. One more. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Wow. Yes, meditation. All right. God bless you guys. You guys have a great night. All right. Peace, love, and happiness to you guys. I hope you guys love to read. Please subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you. Good night.